In Northwest India, bride trafficking is a booming business. These four perspectives reveal how a skewed sex ratio, a rigid caste system, and abject poverty leads to thousands of young girls being kidnapped from other parts of India for marriage. There are not enough women in my village from my caste. Most of them have left to go marry some NRIs or have gone to pursue further education. I have seven brothers, and only three of them are married. People don't give off their daughters to someone who is either over 20, poor, or handicapped. If you are from one of these categories, you have to buy a bride. I am landless, and I am single. No one is ever going to give me a bride, so I will have to go to Hyderabad and buy myself a bride. When I was 13, my brother-in-law told my parents that he was taking me to Delhi to get a job. During our first week in the city, strange men would visit us every day and inspect me. I was eventually sold into a marriage to an older man for fifty thousand rupees. That man already had six children from his first wife. He would rape me and beat me up every day until I got pregnant and gave birth to a son. After that, I was just kept as a servant in the house to unconditionally serve him and his children. And if I wouldn't obey, he would remind me that he owned me. I was treated like an outsider in the village. I would rear cattle and raise grasslands, but I would never get paid for it. There were other local jobs that other women had the option of not doing, but I couldn't refuse to do it because I did not have any friends or family to support me. When my son turned two years old, I managed to escape the village with him. Today, I am happy, but I have to constantly deal with the stigma of being a single mother. I travel Assam twice a year just to meet poor families with single daughters. I convince them to sell me their daughters around for seven thousand rupees. I tell them they will get good husbands here. It's a community service. They are poor, we are poor. It's a win-win situation, and great for the man's family too. A local labourer costs something around ten thousand rupees a year, but girls for lifetime cost fifty thousand only. And if it doesn't work, she can be resold. It depends on look, virginity, and age. They pay around fifty thousand to three lakhs rupees, and in this situation. for caste language culture it doesn't matter as long as the right price is being paid and a male child is born women who are sold for marriage almost never lead a normal life they're abused they're exploited they're even made to work as servants some are even resold none of them know their legal rights in such a situation so we provide that support for them but even this is an effort that does not prevent anything and the problem keeps happening over and over again in fact there are many problems attached to something like bride trafficking first of all they are marketed as matchmaking bureaus so women don't think to lodge a complaint only when they realize that things are starting to go wrong um secondly the crime happens at so many different steps that even the legalities that we have to follow have to go through many many sections there's one for kidnapping there's one for trafficking one for rape uh, the procedure is actually endless and and finally these this problem happens across states across borders and we have no police support when it comes to these things So even though many women are affected every year we end up convicting only two three people like bride trafficking labor trafficking is also a lucrative business especially around huge international sporting events watch our video about it here hit like and subscribe to the WTD news channel